Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on my Tetramorium immigrants. Now this is a colony that I haven't shown off in a very long time. Uh, the last time I think you guys saw them, they were only around about 40 workers. And now you can see that they are, well, definitely above 40 workers. You can see an insane amount of brood here. It's just amazing at how fast the species grows. As some of you may know, my first ant species was actually Tetramorium immigrants, back then Tetramorium species E. After going about a year without keeping them, I decided to go ahead and get another colony, which is why I ended up getting this colony from one of my good friends. Since you last saw them, they've at least doubled and probably coming in on tripling the size of their workers, or their workforce rather, and they have just expanded a lot. As you can see, I have also put them inside of a mini hearth. Uh, not my favorite nest, but it was the nest that I had on hand at the moment, and they really needed a expansion, so I just decided to give them it. And it appears to be doing very well at holding them in. This colony has actually started to eat a ton, as you can see with all this brood, they kind of need it. So the colony has been eating at least twice or three times a week with two mealworms per uh, meal. F food serving? I don't know, what, what do you call it? Feeding, yes, that is the word, per feeding. But besides from that, I'm also planning on actually experimenting with getting them some seeds like chia seeds and even peanuts. My colony used to absolutely love oats and just ate them a lot, so I'm hoping to uh, get this colony also on a little bit of a grain diet. And of course, this colony is very aggressive and really loves their meat. As you can see, there's just a ton of carcasses here that are just all from their past feedings, and of course, some from their new. This was fed to them today, and you can see a few workers just sitting there enjoying their food. Once this colony gets a little bit bigger and starts to outgrow the mini hearth, I'm planning on giving them a Formisquarium XL. From there, I'm planning on actually keeping them inside of Formus Aquariums for a while, just like the majority of my ants, honestly. One of the best nests. Please go check out arthropodantics.com. Not sponsored, but they're pretty cool. I can't wait just to see the masses of brood that this colony produces uh, over the next, I don't know, year or so. When summer hits, their queen is just gonna start producing brood just constantly. It's gonna be beautiful. But yeah, anyways, that is it for this update video. I'm sorry for it being a little bit shorter, or, well, not really shorter, but less, you know, action-packed. I haven't showed this colony off in a very long time, so I decided to give you guys a quick update. Um, uh, actually, the Fidoli Rea are going to be getting another update video because they are doing absolutely great. And, uh, it's definitely something that I do want to show off to you guys, especially since they got a new nest upgrade, which I think is pretty cool. Anyways, that is it for this video. Uh, I'm just gonna let outro me. Actually, no, you know, I'll do this one. Uh, thank you all for watching. Like the video if you like it. Dislike you would dislike it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out the Discord in the description, Patreon, Instagram, all that fun stuff. And I'll end up talking to you guys in the next video. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye.